Welcome back to my channel. This is Benito again, and this is a new video series on MATLAB how to's. So, what I'm planning to do um, in this video series is to create um, short five to ten minute videos on how to create different things in MATLAB. And as you know, MATLAB has so many functionalities, and the amount of things you can do on MATLAB is quite endless. So I'll create different things, for example, how to plot a circle, how to create a counter, and so on. So hopefully in the future, I'll have a library of how-to videos on MATLAB for people to just browse through and quickly find a tutorial on how to solve the particular solution uh, or how to do a particular thing in MATLAB. So that's the idea. And in this first one, what I'm going to show you is how to change your MATLAB theme to a dark theme. So if we look at this um, editor, which is an, an Android Studio editor, you can see it's a nice dark theme. And it's so much better on your eyes. And especially if you're using MATLAB at night, then a white background will really definitely make your eyes tired. And it definitely does make mine tired. So I decided I want to switch to a dark theme. And even Android, uh, the new Android software has a dark theme option. So this is the new trend really. And it definitely does help. So let's switch over to MATLAB. And unfortunately, um, we don't have an option in MATLAB just to convert everything to dark theme with just one click. But we do have the option of changing everything manually. And to do this, we go to Home and Preferences. And in the preferences under MATLAB, we have colors. And you can see at the moment, it's using the system colors. And we here have um, all the different options for changing the colors for the different keyword strings, and so on. So we'll uncheck the use system colors because we don't want to use it anymore. We want our custom background. So in the Android Studio, we have like a dark um, color. This is not exactly the same color. And I quite want that same color. So I'll show you something on the internet um, that I use, which is quite handy. So if you go to colorsiva.com, and if you're using Google Chrome or Firefox, then you can just install this colorsiva by, click by clicking on this button here. And what this will give you is a little icon like this in your toolbar. And then just simply type into Google Android Studio dark theme or something similar. And you'll get to some page like this uh, where you have different options for dark theme, uh, where you get different pictures basically. And you can click on this little icon and click on pick color from page. And if we hover over different things, you can see the color is changing here. Okay, so we have a red, green, blue value and a uh, RGB code that we can grab from this toolbar. So you can see this is orange, different values. So we want to grab this particular dark theme. So if we just click on this, you can see it's the RGB value is 434343. Three, four, three, four, three. So we'll remember that and also click on it. So that code is, so the hashtag code is copied to our clipboard. So before we uh, we'll just cancel this for now and paste that code and copy it again because if we try to copy that straight into the um, preferences option it doesn't work so just copy it somewhere else and then copy it again excluding the hash and you can click on more colors here and go to the click on the RGB and you can copy and paste the code here okay so just you can paste it here, press enter, and you can see we've picked up the same color from the Android Studio dark theme. And you can see the code for red, green, blue has changed to 43. So you can either copy and paste it here or just type in the numbers here. And the alpha value will keep it as two, at 255, which means it's opaque. So if you'd reduce it, then you can see it's becoming lighter. So the alpha value uh, kind of determines the transparency of your color, but we want it to be opaque. Uh, we don't want it to be any transparent. Okay, so we'll click keep it as the, keep it as that, and click on OK. 
Okay, so let's just quickly change the keywords. So the keywords are like for and and if statements, for example, and I'll select this blue here. And for the strings, uh, so if you're typing in a string or importing a file, then I'll choose this pink. Um, and for warning, I'll use maybe a slightly less bright orange. And everything else, and even this hyperlink, I'll, I'll switch to uh, the normal lighter blue. And finally, we want to change our text because you can see because we have a dark background, it the text is not quite standing out the standard code. So we'll change that to like a light grayish, which is similar to what we have here. So that looks quite nice, I'm happy with this and we'll just click apply and OK and you can see how this looks and all of a sudden everything is so much better and we'll just test it out by saying this is a comment with a percentage sign and let's see what a for loop looks like for i equals 1 to 10 uh, i, and we'll just say end so that's what a for loop looks like the keywords are looking quite nice, I'm happy with that. And let's see what a string looks like. Benito, Sebastian. Okay, I'm happy with this. So if I have a file to read in, then using the read function, we can import a um, book1.xlx, uh, which could be like an Excel file. And they all look quite good. Let's see what an error looks like. So let's do m times five. So m doesn't exist. And error looks fine as well. Um, let's see, so if I want to create a section, you can do two percentage sign and that will create a section, so we'll just call this section one and we'll call this section two. Um, so you can, you know, organize your code and switch to different sections uh, so it's easier to read. Now if you want to change the section color, then if you go to preferences again, and it's not in here, it's in programming tools just under the color. And you can see highlight sections. So um, at the moment we have uh, this one, I think. Yeah. So you can choose different colors. So I'll just choose the slightly um, lighter one compared to my background, just like in Android Studio here. I'm getting all the inspiration from Android Studio, really. Um, and this is the automatic highlight. So if there's something missing then this will be highlighted and so on okay so we'll click apply there and okay and you can see that's how the section looks okay so um, what I recommend is if you'd like to copy what I've done or use the same colors as me then you can take a screenshot of this but um, if you don't want to then don't worry you can find the exact code color code from my website at www.benitosebastian.com I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can find all the codes and the relevant information there as well. So if you found that useful then subscribe to my channel and then share it with your friends as well. And if you have any requests or suggestions on uh, what I should include in my how-to videos then please comment them below and I'll, I'll happily add them to my how-to videos uh, list. So at the moment what I have planned to come after this one in my how-to series is how to plot a circle in MATLAB and then I have I also have how to plot a 3d box in MATLAB and so on so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one